Okay guys, I'm back, and it's now time for us to unbox this Figure Arts Mini 2-pack of Doki and Gutaro. So real quick guys, before I review this, sorry, before we take a look at the packaging, I do want to say that I did open it up at first, but I didn't take them out of the plastic from inside. Um, because I just wanted like, to take a quick peek at them while they were still inside the plastic. Yeah, I just thought they looked that cool, so I decided to open up at first. But like I said, I didn't take them out of the plastic inside. I just needed to take a quick peek at them. So, yeah, let me just close this real quick. Hang on. Hang on, guys, this will be just a second. Okay, I'm sorry about that, guys. I was just trying to close that back up just real quick because I'm going to show you the packaging. So sorry that took a little long. But uh, yeah, let's look at the packaging. So of course, we do have the window packaging in there. It shows the two figures in there. Um, of course, it shows the pictures of the figures here and there. It says Taki and Gutaro right there. It right here it says Figure Arts Mini 107 right there. Over there it says Bandai Namco or Namco. How, however you pronounce it. Um, down there, of course, we all know that says Demon Slayer. Or it says Bandai right there. What does it say right there? I uh, can't really read what it says right there, but I will. Um, of course, it does have what looks like a silver sticker right there, I guess what that is. Not really sure what that is, but I will. Let's look at the top. It says Taki and Gutaro, Gutaro right there, if I can talk. Um, yeah, this, I guess you can see the top of the packaging is green. I really like that. Again, it says Figure Arts Mini right there, 107. Which side of the packaging is it shows Gutaro right there. Again, it says Docking Gutaro right there, right there. It's in a pink background. Here's the back. Shows all the details and everything. Shows some of the poses you can put them in. Docky Gutaro right there. Again, we know that right there it says Demon Slayer. Figure Arts Mini right there. And uh yeah. Here's the other side, it shows Docky. Of course, it's Docky and Gutaro right there. Another pink background. Here's the bottom. Warning, choking hazard and everything. Barcode right there. And yeah, that's the price I picked it up for while I was on vacation, $56.90. So uh, yeah, of course, let's finish getting it open now since I already opened it before, so yeah. Okay, now these are just cool. So it looks like they each come with two pairs of arms. So yeah, give me one second. Let's get them out of the packaging. Of course, you can see the display bases right there. Hang on. Okay. Hang on guys, I'm gonna take this off camera just real quick. This is a bit harder than I thought. Wait, nope, never mind. I figured out why. We got tape. We got tape. Just one second. Okay, sorry about that, guys. At first, I did not see that these were taped together, so yeah, I'm sorry about that. Okay, do we have any more tape? Nope, doesn't look like we have any more tape. At least, let's hope there isn't. All right. Let's see. Ah, there we go, finally. Okay, and as you can see, the figures are wrapped in a, uh, more plastic. I see? So first, let's get out their pairs of interchangeable arms. Here's Docky's arms. And, hang on. Eh. Of course, here's Gutaro's arms. So those right there. The display bases. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if I can get these out of here now. All right. So first, hang on one second. Might find, let's find more plastic. Whoa. Okay, there's plastic in between her, the rest of her body and her hair. Let's see if I can get that off. 
There we go. All right. So first, I want to talk about Docky. Well, actually, before I review the figures, let me get the other figure out so I can get the rest of this plastic stuff out of the way. Let me see here. Okay. Got Gitaro. So, yeah, let me move all this real quick. Okay. Now I'll review the figures. So first I want to talk about Docky because... I'll save Gutaro for last because he's actually my favorite demon from Demon Slayer. So, yeah. So here's Daki. And this may be like a miniature figure of her. It's not true what she truly looks like. But I still think she looks very beautiful. Of course, got the hairpins. The hair goes from white to lime green. Of course, the outfit is still accurate. It's still sexy looking. Uh, yeah, of course, we do have the belt, shoes, leggings, panties, belt, and the pieces of the cloth that cover her chest. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the features. Let's see, her arms can move. Her head can really move. It's got good articulation. Can it do a 360? Yes, surprisingly, yes, it can do a 360. I did not think it would be able to do that. Well, I guess it depends on how you have certain parts of the body articulated. Can the hair move? Okay, the hair move can move quite a bit, but um, I recommend that you be very careful, unless you want to break this, of course, but yeah. Of course, unless you want to break this, be very careful with the hair piece, so yeah. Of course, the arms can move. Can they do a 360? Doesn't look like it. Oh, of course, these arms are meant are meant to be interchanged, like, she does come with two pairs of arms, so I guess that's why these come off so easily. But other than that, be careful, of course. But yeah, the arms can move up and down like that. But yeah, be careful when you're articulating this figure, because the limbs, at least the arms, can come off very easily. But the legs can move like that. See? But yeah. But yeah, this one, this figure has... Decent articulation. Again, it's just a miniature figure, so you shouldn't really expect much. So, uh, yeah. Of course, yeah, she does have interchangeable arms. See? I'm gonna interchange one of them real quick. I'll, yeah, I'll put on this one. Let's see here. Ah. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Yeah. And I'll interchange the other arm, too. Let me see here. There we go. So yeah, she's basically, like, almost got her hand on her hip right there. And, uh, yeah. That looks sexy. So, yeah. I'm gonna put her on her display base real quick. All right, so goes in there, looks like it. Ah, this may be a little harder than I thought, but yeah. Hang on, guys, I'm going to cut the camera, and then I'm going to see if I can get the uh, peg in her back, so yeah. Okay, guys, finally got um, the peg in her back so I can put her on the display base, and yeah. She looks pretty cool on the display base, and uh, yeah. This is actually probably how I'll be displaying her, because I actually like this pose the best, so yeah. Also, I adjusted the camera while, while it was uncut, so yeah. But yeah, that's all I pretty much have to say about Daki. So, yeah. And real quick, these this uh, skinny part of the display base can move, by the way. I'll show that on the other one, because I don't want to ruin the pose for this one, so yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much it for Daki. So yeah, now I'm going to talk about Gutaro, my favorite demon. So, yeah, this guy already looks really cool. Of course, it's got all the spots on his body, which I'm quite sure are birthmarks. Of course, he's got the messy hair that's uh, black and uh, darker green from what it looks like. Maybe it's also lime green. I can't really tell. But, uh, yeah, his arms can also move, but a bit differently from Docky's. No, maybe they're probably the same. But, yeah, the arms can move. The legs can move. 
But of course, they, his legs can move a bit less than Daki's because of it, the rest of his loincloth. But, uh, yeah. But I'll say, I, re I also really do like those, uh, bracers and, uh, whatever necklace thing that he's wearing around his neck and his arms, whatever they're called. If you know what these, uh, armband things and this neck thing are called, please let me know in the comments down below. But, uh, yeah. His eyes are also really cool looking, too. And, uh, yeah. That's pretty much... Oh, yeah. The head can also move, too. Can this head do a 360? Yeah, his head can also do a 360. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. And he's basically almost in that hunched position quite a bit. But again, this is a miniature figure, so yeah. But he still looks pretty cool. Still looks the way he's supposed to. So, uh, yeah. And I'm also going to swap his arms real quick. Like this. Let's see if I can get it on there. Ah, there we go. All right, and here we go. And real quick, while I'm putting this on, I do want to say I really do wish that it came with his uh, blood sickles, but I guess that doesn't really matter to me. But again, yeah, I really do wish they would have included those blood sickles that he carries, because real quick, I gotta say to me, there is no Gutaro without his blood sickles. Just throwing that out there. But I still like this figure a lot. Trust me. Hang on. Okay, finally got in. Man, th for some reason, this arm was a little bit harder to get on. But yeah, I might display this guy with these arms too. But yeah, let's see if I can get in him on his display base without having to cut the camera. It's highly unlikely, but I'm going to try. Ah, oh, man. Ah. Anyways, I might have to cut the camera for this one too. <laughs> Hang on. Mm. Actually, no, I think I actually just got it in. Never mind. Okay, hang on, guys. I'm going to fix him up real quick. Hang on. Okay, guys, sorry for that extended moment of silence. I just needed to get him on his display base properly. And, uh, yeah. Let me see if I can zoom in on these guys. Okay. Now scoot him up. No, sorry, let me zoom it back out. Like that, okay. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Sorry that this video was so long. I didn't really want it to be. It's just that um, I had a hard time getting them on their display bases. Well, with at least one of them. And uh, yeah, in some parts of this video, I didn't really know what to say. But uh, yeah, but again, I'm sorry this was such a long video. I didn't want it to be this long. But yeah. Let me know your guys' thoughts on this figure. And while you're at it, in the comments down below, let me know who you like better, Daki or Gutaro. Not as the figures, but like as characters from the anime. Of course, I already basically said this, but of course I like Gutaro better because he's my favorite demon. I do really love Daki, but of course, again, Gutaro is my favorite demon, so yeah. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in just a bit with the next item. So yeah, see you there.